reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D, dash Oracle, O-R-C-L-E dot com. That's Ord dash Oracle dot com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, it's, uh, everything's kind of looking up here. The S&Ps are rallying. The gold stocks are rallying. Uh, I sent you over a chart. I have it. Yeah. It looks like everyone and, went uh, to Sherman Williams and got that green paint, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually a pretty simple chart. This is like non-confusing. What the hard part is is finding what works on this index. And anyhow, just to give you a quick description. The bottom window is the 18-day average of the uh, advanced decline for uh, GDX. Next window up is the up-down volume. Uh, for GDX, okay. an 18-day average. And in a nutshell, when those two indicators are above minus 10, the market's in an uptrend. And when they're below minus 10, uh, then they're in a downtrend. And now when you go back, well, beginning of last year, back to December of last year, and, and basically just shows uh, the buys and sell signals. And it's more of a, you know, a two, three months, four months uh, type indicator. So it doesn't really you know, look at the bigger picture, but does look at the near term picture. So, and we're up in the plus 20s on both indicators. Uh, so we're in a buy signal and how high is high. Uh, I think we'll at least break above uh, the previous highs for 36. And I got some other indicators think we could get up around that 44 range, but uh, time will tell. But on a short term basis here, uh, you know, if there is a pullback. You should buy it as long as those two indicators remain above minus 10. So, yeah. Uh, and, you know, Tim, simple. there's a, a lot of these equities today, you know, in the mining business, they're taking out their swing points with volume. They're all a lot of them are going to be ABC structures up, which is pretty wild. It looks to me like the XAU and the HUI. I won't get those numbers until tonight. But it, looking at some of the other equities inside of the XAU and the HUI, it looks like uh, they got the volume. They're taking out these B points. So. Pretty wild, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, and, and the dollar you know, just can't get any traction. You know, the, we got that dollar still under a buck. It's trading out here at this, uh, you know, the 99 area. And, you know, if this thing falls apart, it can get really interesting because, as you said, everything is green out here today. You know, the bank started the, the earnings out here this morning, but that S&P is up 36 points, man. And Yeah, yeah. And actually, uh, I only sent you one chart, but uh, if you look on – the monthly chart, uh, and you do a Bollinger Band on it, do it on the SPYs, you know, beginning of the year, uh, I told my people that we're probably going to see 470 sometime this year. And um, I think it's going to be sooner rather than later because we're not, you know, we're in a, a what, 450. Yeah, you're already at 454, uh, man. <laughs> you know, yeah, we're not very far. But the, if you do that Bollinger Band thing on the monthly uh, SPYs, that Bollinger Band happens to be at that uh, January of the 2022 high. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be some resistance there. So I don't know. If we, to me, I think we'll get there. Uh, we're chugging along. And and uh, I think if we're going to hit it, you're probably going to hit it this week because, you know, you got the FOMCs, uh, you got the interest rates yep. uh, discussion next week, and there's some bunch of stuff going on. So. Yeah, you know, I just I just put up that chart of the spy with the Bollinger Band too, and you know I remember when you know when we were always on before too when I used to have John Bollinger on a lot, that it's riding. Let's see, I think I get that on the daily, but it's riding the top of that line. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you want it to stay. You don't want to actually go too far above it because yep. if you do, that usually stalls the market. Okay. So you want to be pretty much right on it. And, Which it uh, is. And yep. also, you got the VIX way below 17, too. You got the VIX, you know, 13 and a half range. So you got a lot of stuff that says, you know, trending market here. So, and this is often expiration week for a lot of times has a bullish bias. So I don't, I don't think this, you know, let's get too exuberant here before the week's out. I think we're just going to uh, keep going higher here. You know, you start going up one or two percent a day, it's going to, or uh, two or three percent a day is going to kill a rally. But if you, you know, we go up less than 1% a day, half percent or so, um, you know, a lot of times that's just enough to keep the thing going. So, yeah. Um, well, so. what was intriguing this morning is that, you know, you had, what you had is the bank started it off, but then Microsoft came out with an announcement that they're going to 
charge thirty dollars, but they're gonna, you know, like when you buy their package, which is you know the Word and the Excel and all that, they're gonna add AI to it. And Microsoft Tim went up eighteen dollars, <laughs> eighteen dollars wow. over its highs. It put one hundred and fifty billion dollars into market cap, so now it's a two point seven trillion dollar market cap. Is that sick or what? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back in the day, we could have bought that for nothing. Max back in back in nine, uh, I don't know, nineteen eighty five or eighty six or something. I think it's approximately what that time was. I could have bought that stuff for seventy five cents. Oh, I listen. I know. <laughs> yeah. I so. I remember reading. In 1980, because I bought uh, IBM computers, 286 computers, and they had Microsoft DOS in it. And I remember reading at the time saying, oh, I wonder how this works. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I should have yeah. read a little bit more, I guess. You know? yeah, so, yeah, it's it's a revolution. I don't know what the next, you know, you had the Industrial Revolution, then you had the computer revolution, you know, per se, and, right. you know, whatever the next re resolution or the reservation will be, I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's intriguing uh, here, yeah. Tim, uh, that, I mean, just as, I mean, it's real possible here that we're going to have the metals going and the market going, right? Top side. Yeah, I, I think the metals is going to keep going, and, and the, uh, I think, you know, probably in the next week or two or a couple of weeks, I think the S and P's will. I don't think they'll they're going to crash and burn, nothing like that. But I, I think the the stuff I'm kind of looking at, which is actually that Bollinger Band on the monthly chart, yeah, that's going to find resistance at 470. I got we'll it. Probably okay. bang out a trading range of some sort. But I do think uh, the end of the year, you know, probably I don't know September October will start another rally. They'll they'll probably rally all the way into the year end. You know, there's plenty of money in the mar uh, in the uh, economy yes. to keep this market going. You know, you, what you, you know, you did the COVID cash and right, and uh, then uh, Biden put a bunch of money into the. You know, that's what the market needs. And that's you take that away. That's when things can get ugly. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so I don't think that's going to happen this year or anything. Yeah. No, so I can see that. I'm bullish, but but I do think I think we are going to run into uh, to trouble. You know, later this month or possibly first of August, and uh, it could be choppy for a while. You know, we, we've been, you know, doing a, a decent trend here, and if it continues for another couple of weeks, you know, well, um, we'll keep we'll looking at that something. ratio you have between the spy and the VIX. I mean, that's what that's that ratio is coming. You know, in spades, as you know, you, you, you mean you, you not only pick the S and P, you pick that gold, which is really cool, man. Well, listen, yeah, I, I think the gold. It's going to be the big run of the of the next probably three months. Comparing the two, I think the gold nice. issues will outperform the uh, S and P's. Cool. So, well, listen, man, you have prediction. a great one, safe one, and I look forward to speaking to you on Thursday, Tim. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 361, Nasdaq's up 127, S and P's are up 35. We'll come right back.